Hey guys, Jim Edwards, let's talk about 10 reasons why you might be afraid to 10x your sales. So welcome to another episode of Letting the Chickens Out with Jim. The chickens are already out and they're fussing. So let's talk about why someone might be afraid to 10x their sales. And the first reason is because it's unknown. If you started making 10 times as much money as you are making now, it's the unknown, it's uncertain. It's the old saying of known hells are better than strange heavens. So that's the first reason. Second reason, you'll have to pay taxes on the money. I love it when people say stuff like that. Well, if I made more money, I'd have to pay more money in taxes. I'd go up to a higher tax bracket. Guess what, Chuckles? For every dollar you make, even if they clip you 40%, you're still keeping 60%. I love that argument. I used to hear that in, in the mortgage business and people would say, oh man, if I paid off my mortgage, I'd lose my tax break. What? What? Why would you want to pay $2,000 a month to get back 600 bucks when you could not pay $2,000 in mortgage payment and you just pay $600 extra without having the tax break? You idiot. You're keeping $1,400 more, but people just don't think. Okay, number three, people might attack you or sue you. If you're making a bunch of money, you'd become a target and people would want to sue you. Um, no, they're not. And even if they did, you have money to pay for a really good lawyer. Number four, you'll lose friends. People will think I'm snotty. Let me tell you what. When you're making a bunch of money, you make a better class of friend. Sorry, I have to tell you that I am happier living where I live now than when I was living in a trailer park. Okay? That's, that's reality. Number five, people will think you're snotty. Do you think I'm snotty? Hmm. Six, family will ask for money. Now, this is one that you have to really think about, all right? Family will ask for money. If you love your family, then you can give them money. Don't ever lend your family money, by the way. Either give it or don't give it, but never lend it. That's how you make enemies within your family. But here's the thing, you can do like me. My family's scared shitless to ask me for money, so they never do. I can give you lessons on how to do it. It is only about a 30 second process and you'll never have a family member asking you for money. Number seven, you'll change and people won't like you anymore. Here's the thing, money is like liquor. What? Yep, money is like liquor. Have you ever noticed when somebody's drunk, if they're an asshat, they become more of an asshat, but if they're nice and cute and cuddly and funny, they usually get nicer, cuter, cuddlier, and funnier. In most cases, mostly with me. But, but I don't drink anymore. But the same thing holds true with money. People with money, if you're an ass and you have more money, you're just gonna be a bigger ass. If you're a nice person and you have money, you're actually gonna have the power to be a much nicer person and help people out. Number eight, you won't be able to maintain it at the new level. That fear comes from overextending yourself. If you, start, if you have a good month and make an extra, I don't know, 50,000 or $100,000 and you start living like you're gonna make that 50 or $100,000 every month for the rest of your life, you're stupid. It's not how it works. My philosophy is you spend last year's money next year. Whereas what most people do with credit cards and overextending themselves is they spend money that they won't make for two, three or four or five years today. That's where that fear comes from. Number nine, you'll get audited by the IRS. What? That's, uh, it's not gonna happen. The IRS is gonna audit you if you do stupid stuff. If you have a stupid accountant, they're not gonna audit you just because you're making more money. And number 10, people will steal it from you. Well, let me tell you what, if you're making more money, you can buy a security system. You can install a safe. 
These are all fears, though, that are based in the end on the unknown because you don't have experience with it. I have actually suffered from several of these fears, but in the end, I realized that it was a lot easier to face those fears with money than without money. And that's the God's honest truth. So if you want to overcome these fears, here's three things you need to do. Number one, you need to just be aware of them. Number two, you need to make the decision that no matter what, you're going to face your fears and you're going to start making more money. And number three, you need to be on the webinar I'm doing on Thursday on how to 10 extra sales, because I'm going to show you three secrets to make a lot more sales, which means you'll make a lot more money. So I'm Jim Edwards. Sign up for the webinar right now. It's going to change your life. I'm going to teach you three things that are going to blow you away. And you've never seen this presented in the way that I'm going to present it. And I'm actually going to share with you an offer that I made and we're going to analyze it. It's the same offer that I made that I ended up making enough money in eight days to pay off my house. And I'm going to analyze that offer with you and show you exactly why it worked and how you can apply the exact same techniques to making more sales in your business no matter what you sell. I'm Jim Edwards. Sign up for the webinar right now. Face your fears. Be on that webinar. Make more money. Don't be a chicken. Damn, where'd the chickens go? Oh, there's one. Oh, there they are. They're hiding. See you on the webinar, guys.